Kentucky producers harvest 10 to 16 million pounds of apples each year. About 15 percent of those are made into cider. Because it's important for producers to maintain a reputation for high quality, a recent cider school hosted by the University of Kentucky drew a healthy attendance. Horticulture specialist Jerry Brown says the one-day school updated participants on how to keep cider safe and free of bacteria. It's a safe product. It's like anything. It can be improved, and that's what this was about. Uh, as you know, there has been an incident or two in other states where they have had a problem with the product, just like anything we have problems with. To my knowledge, there has not been a problem with the safety of Kentucky apple cider. Uh, our producers are making a good product, but we are here with expertise from Kentucky and elsewhere on some of the latest techniques. Brown says cider in Kentucky is sold mostly as a fresh product directly to consumers. He said that's an important market for growers because it utilizes apples that might be undersized or in some way unattractive to buyers. Apple producer Mark Haney says Cider School helps growers sell a safe product. I know that they want to be sure and doubly sure that it's a good product, and that's the reason we're here taking this training. If there's new information coming along that we need to know, then this is a, this is a good tool to, to pass that information along. This particular cider school was a cooperative effort involving the Kentucky Horticulture Society, the State Department of Human Resources, and the UK College of Agriculture. For the UK Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Haven Miller.